It's Wednesday, 11 a.m. in Riaboth. The local cemetery had four coronavirus-related burials scheduled for the day. Our news crew is forced to film from behind a wire fence. Not only for social distancing, but we also want to give the mourners some sort of privacy. The town of Riaboth has been reeling under COVID-19 pressure. In two weeks, Riaboth recorded 900 positive cases and 33 deaths. The health facilities here are crowded due to COVID-19 related illnesses. Speaking to NBC on condition of anonymity, a woman recounts her experience while being treated for pneumonia at St. Mary's Hospital. She had tested negative for the coronavirus, but alleged she was admitted at the COVID-19 ward. St. Mary's was running out of space and medical staff. There was only one nurse on the floor from 7 o'clock in the morning, a.m., to late evening at 7. There is no sufficient staff members to help on the floor with the oxygen and helping the patients to go to the toilets that are in a critical condition. The situation became dire when this woman's relative arrived at St. Mary's, also seeking treatment. My auntie did not feel well, and she was admitted in the same ward where I was. In the first day, she was admitted in hospital that Saturday. That afternoon, we helped her to go to the toilet without the oxygen and then she collapsed there on the toilet and the nurse was busy filling in forms at the table and it was just me me as a patient went to start assisting my auntie and then the sunday morning during the night she passed on because there was no one to help her to keep on the oxygen it was the high infection rate that prompted community members in this small town to take matters into their own hands. A local doctor, Henny van Veik, had retired earlier this year, leaving Riaboth for a short while. But the sharp increase in positive cases at home troubled him. It was a sign to start practicing again. I came back and then I've done all the research and I also contact one of the people in uh, South Africa, one of the uh, uh, allergologists. We should change our whole system for managing, uh, managing COVID patients. The best thing for Reba is now to do home management. Then we decided because of the facilities not being available, the clinics, the state doctors, private doctors, and also the ambulance services and hospital beds not available. So we decided to take the hospital management, like in America and other countries, to take it home. That was how the COVID-19 Home Support Treatment Group was born. It's a community initiative looking to put a dent in the surging infection rate at Riaboth. The idea is to identify, advise and treat the locals who may have been exposed to the coronavirus as early as possible. Because the first symptoms we can treat, many of these patients don't have the, the basic COVID medications, the, the cold to flu medications. We're going to get that out to the, to the, the affected households and from that the information. And we also want them to spread the whole process of prevention and the basic medical treatment the logic. The COVID-19 Home Treatment Group has a hotline. Rearboth residents can call 0855-602-637 for any coronavirus-related information or support. The point is to keep patients with minor symptoms at home. So it's, it's more like a home lockdown, but monitoring these people and to see that they're not going to spread the disease. For those residents in need of serious medical attention, there's the minister's living quarters by the Methodist Church. What was once a family house has now been transformed into a medical facility accommodating 15 beds. The town hall, famous for its community meetings before the pandemic, is now a 30-bed treatment centre. 
For now, the two facilities are not operational yet. The COVID-19 Home Treatment Group is waiting to get official authorization from the Ministry of Health and other stakeholders. Francis Shahama, NBC News, Riyadh.